Hello, welcome to Mr. P's Chemistry Stuff. Today we're going to be talking about the periodic tables, families, and groups. So here we have the periodic table of the elements. We've got some tall groups up here on the front. We've got these middle, kind of lower groups. We've got this second set of tall groups. We've got this other tall group over here. We have this set of uh, other elements that are sitting down here you can see that there's a labeled lanthanide and actinide series it's also color coded we got the alkali metals alkaline earth metals transition metals basic metals semi metals non metals halogens noble gas is uh, lanthanides and actinides so we'll be going through those today all right so we're going to start by looking at the periodic table here and I'm going to show you we have this first group right here, and I've removed it, and we have the main group number one. That's known as the alkali metals. Um, they are very reactive because they have one electron in their outer shell. So you'll notice in this image that on the outer shell of lithium, sodium, potassium, and all of the elements that are here in group one, they actually have one electron in their outer shell. That actually makes them extremely reactive, meaning they want to blow up. Alright, so the next group right here, it's a uh, main group number two, also known as the alkaline earth metals. Let me bring that to the front here. So, oops. Make that a little bigger. So these are the alkaline earth metals and they are all similar, they're in the same family because they are elements that have one, two electrons in their outer shell. So those outer shells that were in group one that all had singles are replaced in group number two um, by two. So if you notice kind of a pattern here, on the main groups we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in the outer shell. Alright, so this next set is the transition metals and those were the ten groups that were in the middle, three through twelve. And uh, excluding these ones here, a lot of these are elements you would know, um, iron, silver, gold, uh, mercury, zinc. These are elements that have really, really strange properties though, so they're not as uniform it's the transition metals group then there's the lanthanide and the actinide series so you'll notice that these groups right here just kind of are separated and moved down to the bottom of the periodic table a lot of radioactive elements uh, uranium, plutonium heavy metals that are often synthesized in the lab uh, that's about it there all right, so these next groups are going here with uh, with these main groups, and you'll notice that there's kind of like a, a stair step line that's set up here. That's what actually separates metals on this side from non-metals on this side. So it's a indicator there on the periodic table. Now, main group 13, the elements are going to have three electrons in their outer shell, main group 14, 4, 5, 6, and then they'd follow there with 7 and 8. So that's uh, pretty important there. Carbon, one of the most essential elements for life, is found in main group 14. And uh, yeah, that's about it there. Alright, here in main group number 7 we have the halogens. So you'll notice that elements in this group have seven electrons in their outer shell so that makes them kind of the opposite of group one that had only the one electron in their outer shell so they're really reactive as well very kind of explosive in the opposite way and then finally we have the noble gases and the noble gases you'll see that they have eight electrons in their outer shell and they're in main group number eight. So that's the last you can, can be. That's actually the perfect amount for 
elements. Eight in their outer shell means that they're actually done, with the exception of helium, which only needs two, and it has a specific reason, which we'll go into later, but helium is number two. So that's it for the main groups of the periodic table. Um, hope it was informative to you. Here we go with puppy dogs, because puppies are cute, and you have to end it on a cute note. So there you go. Puppies and the periodic table. The end.